because this is going to transform your data center space. For the first time in 30 years, mark my word, time in 30 years, HP has been rated ahead of Cisco in the wired and wireless networks framework. And this is all happening because of the changing landscape which is impacting all of us. Each one of these areas, whether it is big data, whether it is security or application data management, you will see that HP is always in the magic quadrant in the leadership space. <clears throat> this is another interesting slide. And this is a slide which you need to take note of. In the six areas around networking, the perceived leader is no longer a leader anymore. We acquired a company called Aruba and we integrated it with the traditional HP networking and we call it as the new HPE Aruba. And in each one of the six pillars, you will find that HPE Aruba is the leader and in the other one we are number two, which means that we are creating and changing the landscape in this market quite rapidly. <coughs> This is a solution circle. I am 100% sure you will find that you are associated with some of these technologies in your respective companies. If you see this circle, you will see that there are four quadrants in this circle. And these four quadrants, you can divide it into four pillars of transformation areas. It is called transform, protect, empower, and enable. So what I've done is, <coughs> I've listed down some of the solution offerings around the transformation areas. You will have six competency areas, multiple different practices associated with it, and it will also give you a solution example as to what are the areas that is going to impact within your respective organization. Going forward, you know, we intend to have 51 practices. We have already launched 11 of them. We are going to have 51 different practices around these four transformation areas, which is going to be adopted by each one of you you know, not all four of them in all your organization, but maybe partially in some of the organization. We are also doing an agility workshop for our customers. What is an agility workshop? Our agility workshop will typically benchmark you with respect to competition and yourself. Where you are scoring high with respect to your competition and which are the areas where you need to adopt and have skill sets to improve your agility. So that is part of the agility workshop, which is also a culmination of these transformation areas. In summary, I just want to share with you is that disruption is no longer disruptive. It is the new normal. You need to adopt to this. You also need to think about one thing, that change is going to be part of our life. But I want to tell you one thing, that you need to take stock of the small changes which are actually happening in our industry. And why I highlight that is that <clears throat> if the change is big, you will anyway notice it. But if the change is small, it is natural that it will go unnoticed. So you need to take a stock of the small changes which are actually happening in our industry. You need to adopt to CX strategies, which is customer experience strategies. You need to create solution sets, which are unique experience for your customers. No longer you can have a vanilla solution and take it to the market. You need to create excellent customer experience strategies. You need to adopt to this world of creative disruption. 
it is creative because we are creating it okay and the last but not the least which is a very scary statement it says that the more experience you gain the less valuable you become and changing nothing is risking everything and you have seen in one of my slides that there are 75% of the companies who are actually not adopting anything you know despite this digital disruption which is impacting the industry thank you very much these are the four areas of transformation which i talked about and really appreciate your taking time and we are all here my colleagues are here <coughs> we are here to help all of you you know in your journey thanks very much thank you mr lala would you like to take a couple of questions in case we have any because you, we do have the time so if you have any question please raise your hand uh, i will come to you with a microphone please introduce yourself and uh, uh, i would uh, suggest that you keep the question as short as possible thank you hello mr lala very very good uh, presentation anything you are doing in the education industry i would like to know <coughs> we, there are two three things which we are doing we have a isv framework okay so what we do is that uh, we uh, for education institute we uh, have lot of solutions around digital library okay with the isv framework we also have multiple solution sets dedicated for the universities okay we are also doing lot of work for interconnected universities and uh, you know if you are interested just drop me your card and i will get the right person to engage with you to take the discussion forward there <coughs> let me just share with you and the isv framework at any particular point in time in a country like india we have about 17 to 18 micro verticals <coughs> you know it can be retail it can be gems and jewelry it can be education it can be pharmaceutical oil and gas automotive you know uh, retail fmcg you know core banking insurance agriculture so at any particular point in time across the country you know you will see about 17 to 18 micro verticals present and around this 17 or 18 micro verticals there will be isvs who are providing solution sets so once we know your area of interest we'll ensure that that isv comes with us works with us and creates that solution set for you yeah. can i take one last question sir yeah thank you so uh, there was a slide on your presentation which shows map of india and uh, you know it has got different color but the different country's name so i just wanted to know what is the logic so obviously this map is not been done by me okay so what it means that you know all these large countries you know which are isolated and which are got very powerful recall in our mindset okay as the you know european countries or you know large countries which are actually doing whole lot of things around the areas of technology and stuff like that what this map conveys is that if you collate all these countries together and put it within india okay you know it is creates a land of opportunity for you and if you see today and you know if you have seen my slide which shows about the next 8 years and when you actually realize that you know gdp is going to be the fastest in india compared to any other country it just goes to show that india is shining and that is the messaging which i wanted to give in my slide yeah. okay. thank you thank so you much. thank you very much can we have a huge round of applause for mr lala not only for their excellent presentation but also for being perfectly in time thank you very much sir and uh, we move on to our next speaker ladies and gentlemen transforming the traditional storage environment we have with us mr harindra mehta dell emc india he is the senior systems engineer so please get your hands together ladies and gentlemen as we invite mr mehta on stage all right mr mehta has uh, just stepped out Uh, he is coming in but in the meantime as i said we are going to make this as interesting as possible for you so uh, mr lala was talking about change about creativity etc 
I'm going to throw out a question out into the audience which requires you to think differently, to think a little uh, creatively, a little laterally. So, my question is very simple. Uh, now, those of you who were with me in Bangalore, please make sure that you do not answer this question. You know the name of the Prime Minister? Yeah, it is uh, Mr. Narendra Modi. Can somebody tell me what was the name of the Prime Minister in 1984? Yes, sir? Indira Gandhi, no. But uh, quite close, I would not say also. Come on, you don't lose anything. Rajiv Gandhi also, no. Narsimha Rao, no. Not Chaudhary. Not Atal Bihari. Not even Lal Bahadur Shastri. <laughs> not Chandra Shekhar, sir. Not Mr. Gujral. Not even VP Singh. No. Indra Gandhi, no. Gujral, no. So, uh, the problem is, yeah, when I asked, when I started off these questions, I said that you've got to think a little differently, a little creatively. So, now sometimes, yeah, we read too much. My question was very simple. What is the name of the Prime Minister? Mr. Narendra Modi. What was the name of the Prime Minister in 1984? I could have rephrased this by saying, what is the name of the Prime Minister? Narendra Modi. What was his name in 1984? It was still Narendra Modi. Can we have a huge round of applause for me? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, don't worry. I've got many more questions and you know what I'm giving away as a prize. You've seen these 3D printed Taj Mahal outside. Yeah, that's 3D printed on the machine over here. So we are giving you these 3D printed Taj Mahals. I've got many more questions, many more activities during the day. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mehta for you. Please get your hands together as Mr. Mehta joins us on stage. Right, so uh, good morning, and uh, thank you for uh, for Ingram for inviting uh, Dell EMC for this particular event, and uh, thank you for investing your time in this. The session that I'm going to take is transforming the traditional storage environment. Uh, my name is Harindra Singh Mehta, and I'm a, a senior systems engineer with Dell EMC, based out of back, uh, based out of Delhi. Sorry. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to talk about helping you transform your traditional storage infrastructure, which is basically going to be either some hybrid drive, hybrid uh, storages or spinning storages with the Dell EMC uh, all flash technology. So we'll talk about that. Right, as soon as I turn on my clicker. Yeah, it's on, working. So what is flash storage? Uh, I mean, flash storage is not brand new. Flash storage has been going on for quite some time. I'm sure a lot of you are also using uh, either all flash storage devices in your data centers, or you are using hybrid uh, flash devices, which are a mix of you know uh, solid state drives and spinning hard drives. So essentially, a flash storage is nothing but it's a computer storage which can essentially be erased and reprogrammed a number of times. And there are a lot of benefits you get out of it. Uh, the benefits are that unlike a spinning disk, it does not have uh, rotational latency, you know, it does not have uh, seek time. So therefore, it provides uh, us with a brand new platform on which we can create future storage technologies. So why are customers choosing Flash? Uh, you talk to Dell EMC, you talk to any of the major storage vendors, push towards Flash. And there is a, there is a rationale behind it, there is a logic behind it. Uh, the prime benefit that you get out of uh, an all-flash appliance, number one, is that performance. Uh, like I mentioned before, there is, there is no rotational latency, like spinning drives, there is no seek latency, and therefore you get a huge amount of performance. And also because of Moore's performance, uh, because of Moore's law, I'm sorry, as we progressed down the years, you know, with, with flash technology, we've also got scale. You've got uh, flash drives which come in. Uh, you know, in phenomenal capacities, you have 7 terabyte, 14 terabyte uh, flash drives. Uh, and because of the size of the flash drives increases, they're they are also becoming affordable and durability is also increasing along with generations. An IDC survey has found out that almost 10% of the companies are already using all flash storage, but they're not very vocal or public about it. 
because flash, all flash being a disruptive technology, it is something that most of the companies they keep as a secret because it's a business enabler for them. It's something that gives them an edge over the competition. So, it, so they're not really talking about it. And also about 80% of the, uh, you know, of the companies, they have a plan in their pipeline to move towards all flash technologies. So, like I was saying, as we go along down the line, flash is becoming the dominant storage media. Uh, so, uh, whenever we talk about, uh, you know, flash as a storage media, we are we're talking about your, your primary storages, your production storages, your tier one applications. So, for tier one applications, flash is going to be, is becoming a dominant media. 2016 is the inflection point and going on from here, you will find that uh, more and more companies are putting their tier one applications onto flash drives as compared to hard drives. And the reason for this, and the reason for this is that on a per gigabyte basis, uh, SSDs are becoming cheaper than 15K RPM flash drives. And 2016, as you all notice, is the crossover point where going forward from 2016, the per gigabyte price of flash is actually going to be much lesser than 15K RPM hard drives. So in case you're investing in a storage technology today, which you intend to use for the next five years, you can be assured that two years down the line, if you've invested in an all spinning storage, you would have uh, wasted more money than you would have actually invested in an all flash storage. And that is why uh, Dell EMC is considering 2016 as the year of all flash. Because 2016 onwards, uh, it does not make sense at all to keep your tier one primary applications on spinning drives. So, but is that, is that enough? I mean, is, uh, you know, but is, is having flash in your data center, in your servers, or in your storages, is that enough? Uh, what is flash? Flash is nothing. Uh, it is essentially a chip, and uh, anyone can take this, uh, take a nice PCB board, stick a couple of NVRAMs on it along with the CPU, and package it in a, you know, in a metal container, and then uh, form an SSD. And this SSD is then used in various devices. It is used in end user devices. It is used in servers, as well as it is used in storage. But what is the intelligence? What is the, the fact that gives intelligence to your flash media? And the thing that enables flash media is the architecture and